Hello, this screencast will provide a quick overview of a forecasting extension for Curic Strata. This extension takes time series data and pushes it through a web API provided by a company called LOCAD. Further information about LOCAD and their forecasting technology can be found at LOCAD.com. All right, so this extension just requires that you have time series data. We're looking at a data set that shows a company's U.S. sales by month from January 2004 through June of 2008. Now let's say I wanted to get a sales forecast for the next five years. So I'll open up my LOCAD forecasting extension. Since my data set was already open, almost everything is already filled out for me. But we'll take a look at the various controls. First, we have the name of our source table. And then we need to let LOCAD know which fields are which. For the time, we select the month field. And for the values, we select our amount. And since this data set only includes a single time series, we could include the description field. But for now, we'll just leave it blank. And then we need to specify our output criteria. First, we name the output table. Then we select the output interval. We'll stick with a month interval here, but you can select any type of interval, regardless of the format used in your original data set. The future records option lets me choose how long in the future I'd like to forecast. And finally, we can select the processing time. Generally speaking, the more complex the data set, the longer you want the forecasting algorithm to work. 60 minutes seems to be a pretty good middle ground, but you can see what works best for you. Now we're ready, so we press go, and it pops our LOCAD login screen. If you don't have a LOCAD account, you can sign up for a free 30-day trial by clicking this button, which takes you to the LOCAD website. But if you already have an account with them, you just enter in your login and password information, and then hit OK to generate your forecast. Strata uploads the data set to LOCAD so it can do its processing magic. In the meantime, Strata keeps track of the status while your forecast is being created. And after the processing is finished, we see our new table. I'll tile these two tables and widen the columns. And you can see that our new forecast starts where the previous historical data left off. All right, let's quickly run through one more forecast, but this time with multiple time series aggregated into a single table. Here I've got a table with various items and the number of times they've been ordered per month. If I run a quick grouping operation, I see that I've got seven different series in this set, each with 24 months of historical data. So we'll go ahead and run forecasts for each of these items. We'll pop open the LOCAD extension, and we see that, again, everything is pre-populated. The one thing I want to point out is that for this type of forecast, we now need to include the ID field, since there are multiple items. And we see that the code field is already chosen for us, which will work just fine. Then we'll just look at the next 30 months, and finally we'll go ahead and run it. And now that it's finished processing, we see our results. Our 30-month intervals appear on the left, and the monthly forecast for each item appears in the individual columns. I can now look at each of these predictions in depth and start planning accordingly. So that was a quick overview of the LOCAD forecasting extension for Curic Strata. If you work with time series data and do any forecasting, please give it a spin and let us know what you think. Thanks.